everyone. My name's Andrew Juvenin, and I represented Squadron 249 at the competition in 2014. Canada is awesome. But it wasn't always awesome. In fact, it wasn't even always known as Canada. But 150 years ago, some awesome people got together and figured out how to make it happen. I graduated from the Royal Military College of Canada in 2018 with a degree in chemical engineering. I'm currently a helicopter pilot for the Royal Canadian Air Force, and I'm posted to 103 Search and Rescue Squadron in Gander, Newfoundland to fly the CH-149 Cormorant. William Henry Pope had to row out in his own little rowboat and bring everyone ashore each day. So as funny as it sounds, Canada almost didn't become a country because of a circus. <laughs> I think for me, the Effective Speaking program highlighted the importance of thinking outside the box, being confident in your ability to take an idea and have some fun with it. Hi, I'm Jay Shaw, and I represented Saskatchewan at the 2017 and 2018 National Effective Speaking Competition. Currently, I'm finishing my computer engineering degree and right now, I'm on a 16-month internship designing satellite communication systems. The three aims of the Air Cadet program are to number one, develop good citizenship and leadership, number two, promote physical fitness, and number three, stimulate an interest in the air element of the Canadian Forces. But is that all that the Air Cadet program does? I don't think so. Instead of just accomplishing these goals, I think the Air Cadet program provide something much more valuable, opportunity. For me, the Effective Speaking program helped me build the skills needed to communicate on a big stage. Not just speaking skills, but also writing and thinking on the spot skills as well. Hi everyone, my name is Pearl Barnes and in 2016 I represented the 675 Bow Valley Air Cadet Squadron in the National Effective Speaking Competition in Richmond, BC. Currently, I am in Saskatoon, getting my degree in education to become a high school English and French teacher. I also volunteer at the 702 Lynx Air Cadet Squadron in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and I'm an improviser in the USASC Improv Theatre Group. As I put on my headset to shut out the roar of the engines, I heard the pilot tell us to get ready, because he would be taking off as soon as he got permission. A few words I didn't quite catch were spoken over the radio, and suddenly, we were going fast. Faster, it seemed, than I had ever gone. I've gained so much from being ineffective speaking. I was in the program from my first year all the way up into my fifth year when I won nationals. It's helped me become more confident, not only in my future career as a teacher, but in so many facets of life. I am more confident speaking in front of a group of people. I'm more comfortable making friends. I'm more comfortable being in front of a camera. And I owe so much of that confidence to my experiences in the Effective Speaking program. If I could have one thing to say to the youth, you know, kids who are thinking of joining Air Cadets, I could not recommend highly enough the Effective Speaking program. It really has changed who I am. Hi, my name is Chris Zhou, and I represented 60 Confederation Squadron Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island, all the way back in 2014. And I just graduated from McMaster University in the Health Sciences program. I went up to the flight surgeon who was in charge, and I asked him, well, aren't you going to be mad at me? I've just wasted hours of hard work, and now it's going to rain, and we have to do it again, and he stopped me. He placed a reassuring hand on my shoulder, and he said to me these six words, cheer up, it's going to be all right. For me, the Effective Speaking program gave me the courage, know-how, and the experience to communicate effectively with people professionally and personally. Um, I remember right after I aged out of cadets, uh, I was selected to be on the Prime Minister's Youth Council. And I was presenting ideas and suggestions directly to the Prime Minister. And I gotta tell you, if it wasn't for the Effective Speaking Program, I don't think 
I would have been able to do that. So my advice is, if you're even thinking, considering about joining the Effective Speaking program, don't even hesitate, go for it. It was such a valuable part of my cadet experience, and I think it can be very valuable for you as well. It is 1917. Sunrise creeps above the horizon. Artillery shells whistle overhead, and men scream on the ground. Hi, my name is Cody Lincoln. I uh, competed in the National Effective Speaking Competition three times, and I currently work as a duty officer at Vanguard Air Care. The Effective Speaking program has helped me leaps and bounds into having my uh, intercommunication skills with other coworkers, speaking in front of a group without having any fears. Uh, it's helped me to be able to voice my opinions. And in life, the Effective Speaking program has helped me countless times um, to not be afraid uh, to speak in front of people. And uh, I can't wait to see where it helps me next. If we look to the battlefields of World War I, we see why freedom is not free and why we cannot forget. It is only there that we may truly understand why it solidified the beliefs of our great nation, Canada. Thanks to the cadet program, I have a bright future and have progressed as with a pilot and a person. And I'm more than proud to say I wear the 101 crest, both on my flight suit and my tunic. Thank you. I don't think it's an overstatement to say that communication is the cornerstone of society. Politics, religion, science, art, they're all based on the idea of conveying information from one person to another. I cannot thank enough the Air Cadet program for teaching me communication skills, especially those that I learned in the Effective Speaking program. And here I am, fourth year in a row representing my squadron and now the province in effective speaking. After all, speaking is the most important form of communication. You try going a day without talking to someone to tell me how much you get done. Back in 2015, I graduated from the program. I was a pilot and did fairly well in the effective speaking program. Now, I've been combining those two skills in order to communicate my skills to other people. I've tutored people here in town in order to go to flight school and I'm involved with my local search and rescue unit, where I've trained several spotters in order to execute search and rescue missions across the vast Arctic. So, I hope that you, watching this here, will participate in your squadron's local effective speaking competition. And you go forward and use those skills to help others. Hi, I'm Cameron Kinsella. I'm formerly from 807 Mount Pearl Squadron in Newfoundland, and I competed in the National Effective Speaking Competition in 2019. Currently, I'm studying mechatronics engineering at the University of Waterloo. The Effective Speaking program has provided me with a variety of skills that have helped me in both my personal and professional life. I've found that I can speak with much more confidence and much more easily to large groups of people. And in my professional life, I've found that I can communicate my ideas and thoughts much more clearly and accurately. When it comes to technology, you have to take the good with the bad. And in my eyes, the ability to better educate the world and save lives outweighs everything else. Today, we live in the digital age, and I'm happy to be glad to see it. Without this new advanced technology, I wouldn't be learning a new language. I may not be alive today. And perhaps most importantly, I wouldn't be able to start off my day by watching videos with cats and boxes. <laughs> I've never really been the outgoing type, so the effective speaking program was really outside my comfort zone. But even so, the skills that I gain from the program have been incredibly valuable for me in my daily life, and I'm eternally grateful for the opportunity to have been able to receive those skills.